this is Providencia. Welcome to my channel. I am here to do some nice, delicious Dominican spaghetti. I am going to pair that up with some lettuce. I got some avocado here. I thought it was smashed, but this is the way it looks. I had to double check that right here. But no, it's, this is just the way it looks. And some plantains. And oh, and I'm going to do some bread. Um, probably just do it with butter or probably add just a little bit of garlic powder to have that garlicky taste. And I'll probably make this for the kids. You know, they love this. And yeah, that's what I'm going to make. This is not my recipe. This is my husband's recipe. So I decided, let me go and do it. If you hear a lot of noise, it is because my older son upstairs, his room is upstairs. They're rearranging the room. So you're gonna probably hear a couple of bangings. I'm sorry, but I do wanna cook and get this done and over with. Also, there is one ingredient that I'm gonna have to substitute with because, you know, with all this stuff going on, not too much stuff is in the supermarkets and, and, and you know, and stuff. You already know, I don't even want to get into that topic. We've been home, school is closed, and yeah, that's how it is. I, I'm even fortunate to have gotten these platanos, okay? Because they were trying to charge a dollar a platano in the bodega right up the block. And I was like, oh, hell no. I want platanos, but I ain't that desperate. So when I went to save a lot, I ended up finding it. And I was like, yes, thank God, I found it, two, four dollars. So with that being said, I got my pans here. This is where I'm gonna make the spaghetti at. This is for my um, platanos. And I already got some water with salt to boil my noodles. I'm waiting until it boils. I just added a little, little bit of salt, okay? Let me go over here. I am gonna tell you what you're gonna need to make this delicious Dominican spaghetti. All right, don't mind all of this. This is just go this is just pairing it up with this. The recipe is on the spaghetti, okay? We're going to need a pack of hot dogs. All right, any hot dogs of your choice, whichever one you use. We're going to need like maybe one pack of sazon. Let's see how much I make. I got some butter here, a red onion, a green pepper I would have loved a red pepper you know but I don't have none not that I don't have none I have some in the freezer but I, I want to use like fresh and not frozen veggies so I'm gonna have to use the green one because that's the only one that I have a little bit of extra virgin olive oil we're not gonna add too much also we're definitely gonna need a can of evaporated milk now, I may use one can. I do have like a half a can of evaporated milk in the refrigerator that I had used for something this week. So, I might probably add a little bit more. Let's see how much I make, okay? We're going to need mayonnaise. Yes, you heard that right. <laughs> mayonnaise, okay? We're not going to add too, too much. We're just going to add like a little, little spoon just to have that something in there. I know it's weird. Because when I first heard it, I was like, mayonnaise? <laughs> nah, I don't want none. <laughs> but when he made it for me, it was really, really good. You can't even barely taste the mayonnaise. Trust me. It's just that there's something different, you know, taste to it. But if you don't want to add mayonnaise, you don't have to. If it makes you feel like, nah, I don't want to add no mayonnaise, okay? That's the way he makes it and... That's how it is. We're definitely going to need a can of corn. Make sure it's not the cream of corn. Make sure it's the whole kernel one. A can of tomato sauce. If you don't have tomato sauce, you could definitely use um, tomato paste. I have some chicken cubes here. Since they are small, I don't know how much I'm going to add. I usually use the bigger one. That all I use is one. And that's it. So for me... Four of these will substitute one of the big ones that I use. So I'll probably use three or four since they're like the small ones. I'm just letting you guys know. If you have the big one, you're probably only going to need one. All right. Now, this is the one thing I couldn't find. <laughs> okay. 
he uses fresh garlic and I really wanted to use fresh garlic because I wanted to make it exactly like the way he does it but I cannot find fresh garlic in the supermarket nowhere so I'm gonna substitute with garlic powder but if you can find garlic powder I mean not garlic powder if you can find fresh garlic definitely use garlic um fresh garlic it all depends to your liking if you like a lot of garlic then you add a couple cloves he uses like at least two or three big big cloves i'm just letting you guys know okay but i am going to substitute with garlic powder also i brought this from the dominican republic this is pepper and just use any pepper of your choice okay um I have brought them when I went on a vacation over there. And also this one, the oregano. It's almost finishing, but I ain't worrying about nothing. Why? Because I got like three, four bottles as a backup. That's right. I love this oregano um, from over there. It's like so potent and it's just, ooh, it tastes so good. <laughs> All right. So it may look like a lot, but it's not. And it's very, very simple to make. Okay. So let me go and push some of this aside and i'm gonna put you guys on the tripod and we're gonna get this started so let's okay go. you guys the first thing i'm gonna do is do my platanos because i am going to freeze some i know you guys probably don't understand i'll leave the video down below instead of you guys buying it frozen because they sell it like that in the supermarket. Which I don't understand why you won't want to pay like $3 for like a bag. Um, to buy it that way. You could um, just fry it once. Smash it. And then freeze them. And then when you're ready to use them. You could definitely use. Um, fry it a second time when you're about to use them. The reason why I'm doing this is because. With all this thing with the... It's hard to find platanos. I was really lucky to find these. So, I'm doing this right now. I'm going to probably make two plantains for the kid. I mean, for me and the kids. And the rest I am definitely going to freeze. As you can see, I'm cutting off the tip. And I like to do three slits. You don't have to run it in hot water if you don't want to. But I do. For that way, the skin could come you know come out easier so i'm just letting you guys know i'm gonna show you this too but i'm gonna leave a video down below of how i did this one time with a with a big big batch and i even did like a test to see how it would be frozen and then fry it up again you know and it was just perfectly fine i mean the color was not that bright yellow yellow you know, like the, the platanos, but it still tastes the same and everything. So, yes, I'm going to leave that video down below. Check that video out. So, I'm going to do this now because I got to really fry a lot of platanos. And this recipe is done a little quick, so. And I'm going to run all of my platanos in hot water. In the meantime, while my platanos is in hot water, and I hope you guys could hear me, I'm going to start cutting the hot dogs. Okay, so let me rinse these out too. <laughs> you, what you want to do is you want to cut them. And you want to cut them like this. Just like this. You could also use Dominican salami. I couldn't find that either. <laughs> I know. Is that out there? Um, I'm gonna insert a picture of the salami you wanna you wanna buy. It's, it's salami that Dominicans make the majority of everything with their food, you know. I'm gonna insert a picture for you could see. And if you wanna use that salami and cut them up you definitely definitely can i have done it like that too as well i also 
forgot to mention that we need olives for this recipe. I truly, truly, truly forgot. So we're definitely going to need some olives. If you do not want to add olives, you don't have to. That's how he makes it. I personally love olives. So I'm going to use it on this recipe. So I'm just letting you guys know. So we got our hot dogs here. And let's see how the flour comes off. And you could use your hands or your, your fingernails or you could just take the knife and just kind of like loosen it up a little bit. So I'm going to do this with all of the platano. big ones and the other ones I'm just wait a minute see this little part I don't I don't like it so I cut them up all right the other ones I'm gonna do them differently this one I'm just gonna cut like this make them a little smaller than I usually do because we gotta improvise cut them like how can I say it like this you can have a nice pretty sharp shape these are the one I'm gonna these are the ones I'm gonna use today I'm gonna add water and add salt to this And then um, I'm gonna put this aside, let it soak in a little bit. And in the meantime, let's go and pre-cut this and the pepper. So let's do that right now. You want to do this very, very, like very diced, you know, in small pieces. Now you could do it whichever way you want, but that's how he does it, so that's how I'm showing it to you for. It don't have to be too visible, you know? And mind you, I love seeing peppers and all that stuff in my food. But with this recipe, you don't want to do that, so. As well as the peppers as well, okay? So I'm going to fast forward this part. And look at how small they are. I'm breaking them apart because... Very, very, very small. See there how small they are? That's how you want them.
got my veggies cut and everything. I'm about to let's go over here. So I have this box. This is a 32 ounce. All right. I'm gonna put. Oh, I don't know. Um, and I got this big box at all these. Very cheap too, like a dollar forty nine or dollar and change. Very, very, very good. So I'm gonna start off with half to see how much it looks. Okay. Try to separate them so it don't stick together. Don't worry, it's all gonna fall in there. <laughs> all right. So I use a half. All right, not sure if you can see it, but probably add a little bit more. Maybe for some leftovers tomorrow. So I could combine the leftovers from yesterday and today. And I don't got to cook. Sometimes I do that. I combine different leftovers for two or three days. I'm going to add more water to this because it did evaporate it a lot. So I'm just going to add water. Move it a little bit. As you see, it's starting to like get soft try to like push it in this is a small pot i don't know why i didn't use a big pot but anyways. and while it's doing this thing let's make the sauce so i got this on low and the first thing you want to do is add some olive oil you could use any oil of your choice i'm going to use olive oil today so it's just to cover it up and fry these hot dogs nice and beautiful and I'm gonna wait till it gets a little, little hot. And towards the back, I'm already starting to fry my plantain. Okay, and we're gonna add our hot dogs. And we wanna fry them up a little bit. I am gonna put this a little higher for now. And then when, we're, when we add the evaporated milk and all that stuff, I'll put it a little lower. By the way, you're going to want to always like move like your spaghetti from time to time. Because it will stick together and you don't want that. Okay, so I lowered the heat and I am opening up my can of tomato sauce, evaporated milk, and my corn. First, you're gonna wanna add some tomato sauce. I'm adding the whole eight ounce can. I'm just gonna add a little bit of water to grab whatever's in there. Add a little stir. Remember, low. From here, I am going to add some chicken flavor. I'm going to start off with three. I'm throwing it in there whole because they're kind of hard, <laughs> but I'll break it apart while it while it gets soft then, okay? So. Okay, why is this giving me problems? To that, we're going to add just one packet of sasson. You want to add some of your peppers. And some of your onions. 
I still got some left over, but I will put it in a container. And I will definitely use this tomorrow or the next following day for a recipe. I don't really want to cook tomorrow. Probably the next following day. I'll probably use it. But, yeah. You want to add some pepper. Not too much. He doesn't add too much, but... If you're one of those that love a lot of pepper, hey, do you. So I'm going to add about this much because I am making a lot. It's up to you. And some oregano. Not too much as well. That's good enough right there. You want to add a little bit of the juice of the olives, not too much, just a little bit. That's good enough. And I'm going to cut my olives because they're like this in whole. And I'm going to try to cut them at least in half. It is looking very, very good right now. So I'm going to let that like simmer away just for like two or three minutes. Let it all come together. And I'm going to take out the pasta now. Okay, I'm going to explain that to you because I can't show it to you right now. I'm kind of in a rush rush here because this is like something you do quick, you know. So... Okay, so I'm gonna add the corn now. You could leave, you you could drain the majority of the juice, but try to leave a little bit in there, you know. Let's mix this up. It is looking very, very nice, if I may say so myself. <laughs> And this is so cheap and inexpensive too. I did put it a little higher where it could start sizzling a little bit. I'm sorry, but it's calling my name. Oh yeah. Mm. It tastes so good. Of course, it tastes like hot dogs, but you could taste all the other flavors that's in there. It's really, really good. Mm -hmm. Very, very, very good. You're going to love this recipe. I'm telling you, you guys. It's very inexpensive. Like, you could feed your family, you know. Oh, and I forgot to add the garlic. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> So yes, let's add the garlic. Like right now, oh my goodness, how, how did I forget that? I was just preaching about me not having fresh garlic and look. And I'm not, I didn't even add the garlic, oh my God. I gotta flatten out the plantains. I'll do that next, but it's hard. Because this is a, a meal, you can add a little as, as much as you want. I like a lot of garlic, I'm sorry. <laughs> This is a meal that is done very, very quickly. So it's hard for me to maneuver, you know, doing the plantain, doing this, doing that. I still got to do the bread. Oh, yeah. And it's hard to like also record at the same time, you know. All right. I'm going to use a regular spoon because I'm going to have to stir right about now. We are going to use a can of evaporated milk. We're going to add this in. And don't worry, it's not going to change no color or nothing. And we're going to like stir it up. Oh, 
Okay, so let this thicken up a little bit, but from time to time, stir it up, okay? Just letting you know. starting to boil up see how it's starting to boil up a lot add that butter mix it very fast Okay, you guys, I am gonna add another half of tomato sauce just a little bit because I think since I made more, you know, a lot for me and my family, and where he made it for me, which is me and him, I'm not looking at the color that I'm supposed to look at, and at least I'm being honest, you know. So, I am gonna use a half a can more just to bring out a little bit more of the color you don't want it too too red either like tomato sauce so you don't want it too light you know what i'm saying also from this point i am going to taste it and i'm gonna put the fire a little bit because it's already nice and thick okay all right so if you're gonna make a lot, try to use a can and a half or two, depending on how much you're gonna make. I am going to taste it. Where's the spoon? Okay. I am gonna taste it, just to see if it needs any salt or whatever. Mmm, tastes so good. I'll probably add another sazon. But the flavor is so good, my goodness. It's really, really good. I'm going to add another one, though, okay? Like I said, I'm making a big pot. <laughs> when he made it for me, he, he made it for just for me and him. All right, there you go. And it will add a little bit of flavor. Color, I mean. Flavor, too. <laughs> All right, so it is thick, nice and thick the way I like it. And it tastes so good. Oh, my God. You could use this with, uh, with cow milk if you want. But to me, if you want my opinion, I really think it's much better with evaporated milk. But that's my opinion. It just has like a more... Dif uh, like a different taste and a different texture to it. All right, let me move the oil to the side because I'm gonna fry my platanos. All right, I'm just gonna have it low until I'm ready to fry them. And I'm already gonna flatten out the other ones. Look at the platanos. I'm sorry, I couldn't show it to you guys because I always show you guys like how how I do everything around the kitchen. But this is something I gotta keep a really close eye on. I cannot position cameras <laughs> when it comes to this. So I'm really, really sorry. Let me just take you guys here. I am flattening my plantings now, so I am so sorry. Okay, I had taken some water out, but as you could tell, I left some water in there, all right? Some of the water from this, okay? You need to leave at least some of them, some of the water from the pasta in there because you're going to add it together. 
All right, just a little bit of water, okay? Let me see. Oh, this camera, I can't. I'm holding the camera and I'm doing this. My goodness, Lord. Okay, just leave a little bit of water in there, all right? Let me see if I could try to... Oh, wait a minute, hold on. Wait a minute, hold on, you guys. I'm so sorry. There's water in there. You see it? Look at everything I gotta go through just to explain it to you guys. Okay, leave water in there, okay? So I'm gonna scoop it out and then I'm gonna add the water, okay? Let's go back over here. All right. There you go. It tastes so good, you guys. All right, and I'm flattening my plat platanos now. All right, so. We're gonna start putting it in there. I am making a mess though. Something so simple could be so messy. Oh my goodness. <sighs> the reason why I'm doing it like this, instead of just pouring it in there, just in case, I don't wanna add too, too much water either, you know? We just wanna use some of the water from here. Even though I didn't leave a lot of water in there, you know? All right, so. I'm just moving it around because I still got more in there. Okay. Oh my god. I cannot wait to eat this. You know what? I'm just going to throw the whole pot in there because... I think this is a sufficient amount of water in there. But just be mindful. If there's a lot of water in there, just scoop it out little by little, okay? But I already know, like, more about measuring and all that stuff, so. All right. And also, wow, this is a big pot. Oh, wait a minute. Mm-mm. A little piece of olive fall out? No. We waste no food in this kitchen. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Every time I'm almost close to finishing, I always get a little happy. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> well, of course I know why, because I'm eating. I'm about to eat right now. <laughs> but yeah. I still gotta do the platanos though, and the croissants. But that's easy. I'm gonna do a little lettuce for me, nothing fancy. Okay, at this point, you're gonna wanna add that one teaspoon of mayonnaise. Now, I'm gonna use a tablespoon, since this is a lot, all right? We're gonna do that and quickly stir it up. Try to mix it very, very well, if you can. You don't want like a section to taste a lot like mayonnaise. It's just for a little touch, you know? Try to pick it from the bottom up. But try to buy one of these things. They only cost a dollar. They're very good for, you know, like spaghettis when you make spaghettis and stuff. turn it off let me let me put y'all a little back hold on okay much better that way you could see everything you know all right so i am gonna you know look there's still a little bit of the juice underneath there look beautiful you'll see that oh yeah all right so there's the corn in there you're probably not gonna be able to pick it up i'll try to put the camera more better so i am going to you know why not I made it. Might as well get the first bite. Okay. Yes. 
this is what I'm working with right now. <laughs> All right, so let's take a little sample. Mm. Mm. Oh, so my. I'm taking another one. I'm sorry. Look at this. I'm taking another spoon. Yes, I am. I'm sorry. This is so good. Mm. Oh, my God. <laughs> Y'all missing out if y'all don't make this for real. And it's very, very inexpensive too. Mm -mm. Let me go ahead and show it to y'all a little closer. Okay, so here you go. Oh, listen, nice, creamy, delicious, cheap. <laughs> Let's not forget cheap. All right, beautiful. Look at the hot dogs. Please make this for your family. All right. Look at that. All right. So let me cut the salad real, real quick. And put the plantains in there. Normally, I will serve it all in one shot. But considering that I'm doing a video, I'm going to have to push this aside. And, you know, do it like that. So I'm going to put this aside. Um with the lid on for that way it don't dry out too much and I'm gonna start doing the platanos and everything now I made three batches right here. I'm sorry I'm talking loud. My son is washing dishes. He's helping me out because my back is killing me. And I also cleaned the whole house, mopped and everything. So I'm like really freaking tired. These are the ones I am going to cook right now. And this is the one that I'm going to freeze. Each one of them has like 10 to 11 platanos, all right? Which is good enough for me and my kids, all right? So I just want to let you know, I'm going to leave that link below for you could know how to like prep it and all that other good stuff, you know, just letting you guys know. Okay, so I'm going to put you on the tripod because I know the water is running and I'm going to show you how I make my bread.
the finishing plate. Some nice bread. Mm -mm. The nice delicious spaghetti. Oh yes. Nice rich creamy. Yes. You know I'm gonna eat like two plates. Okay, I'm not really because I don't want to cook tomorrow, so I can't eat two plates. I'm trying to save some for leftovers. I am not trying to cook tomorrow. Beautiful, tastes very, very yummy. You know I can't live without my avocado and some delicious plantains. I was gonna do lettuce, but I'm like, man, my back hurts. I'm just gonna finish this and just, you know, just eat. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, so please try this recipe. It's very economic, you know, it's very economical. Economical. Hey. <laughs> I ain't never know. <laughs> I used to, I be testing my own self. Ain't no shame, you know. <laughs> Um, it's very economical. You know what did I say, right? <laughs> yeah. It's very cheap. Let me say it my way. It's very cheap and it's very, very delicious. Taste of sausage. Tell me no. Like, I already did that. Oh my God. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> my kids can't even wait. <laughs> I'm like, go ahead, go get a hot, like a small little hot dog. You know? I already did. <laughs> <laughs> Take oh, back good. Take back good. Mm -mm. Would you stop? Okay, listen, you guys. I'm gonna have to cut this short. Please, please, please try this recipe. It's very cheap, very inexpensive, all that good stuff. All right. So we're about to eat, and that's it. Take care. God bless, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.